I just want to say something. Somebody sent me a a text message, email, I'm sorry. And they were rather sarcastic and I said, God bless America. Keep America in prayer. But what they said was uh oh they sent a lot said a lot of terrible like you know words and got nasty about we need to go back to Africa. But before, I just want to say this, before we make a lot of stupid asinine statements, we need to learn how to read and write. Do you know that Africa, did, 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 I wonder, did they see the continent of Africa? Is Africa under a curse? Do you know that's one of the, the, the that the continent of Africa has suffered ten or a hundred times more than any other continent on earth? Butchery, rape, murder, and slavery has been going over there for thousands of years before there was even, a, even a miracle was even thought about being brought, uh, 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 brought into existence. Before we get upset, let's learn how to read and write. Let's do research before we make the any of these. Do you know what? Why America? One of the reasons we believe why Africa, a matter of fact. Some major theologians believe that Africa is in the shape it's in because of what they did to other Africans. Huh? Why do you think we're here? We had experts, African experts, who apologized and said that the only reason why you're over here was because of other blacks, because they said you could you could count the whites on hand in history that that actually no uh, went into the bush and got other Africans out and sold them as slaves. They were showing the ports, even. Henry Louis Gates uh, 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 did a series on it. How they were other Africans in history, our own African brothers and sisters, uh, our own African brothers uh, sold us into slavery. And right before their eyes, we were butchered. Uh, uh, our women were raped, children killed. You were thrown in the middle passages, my God, they were thrown overboard, and these were people who professed Christianity. They came with uh, the Bible in one hand, and stole and raped and ripped off Africa with the other. But what I'm saying is, missionaries and people, men and women of God, we should go to Africa. And just to share the word, that's what I'm talking about. But far as going to live in Africa, I just want to tell you, we're not even taking care of ourselves here. Hell, most of us can barely read or write. You can't do anything. You don't own anything. You're not feeding or clothing yourselves. What you going to do in Africa? Well, I mean, before we make stupid asinine statements, what the heck are you going to do in Africa? You can't sell crack to a lion. You can't sell a, a reefer or ecstasy to a crocodile. What are you going to go into a bone constrictor's uh, uh, lair and steal his flat screen TVs? 38s don't do nothing over there. And most of those animals, uh, um, <laughs> by the time you know they're there, they're all over you anyway, ripping and tearing you to pieces. So make sure we, I'm not here to, to, to insult anyone, but make sure when you when you send an email to me, at least make sure it's half the way intelligent. At least do a, a little research before you make such asinine statements. Back to Africa. Africa, it, for the most part, not all, is in terrible shape. A lot of the people there, do you know, not only in Africa, in Asia too, do you know most of the world go to bed hungry at night? It has been said that most people in the African continent would kill to take your place. What do you think you'd be doing if you were over there? Huh? As a matter of fact, Arabs had a hand in it too. That's why you're here. It wasn't because some white man went over there and, 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 and went into the middle of the Belgian Congo or, or in the West Coast. That's where most uh, um, of the uh, slaves that came to this, this continent came from, West Africa. What do you think you'd be doing now? Cleaning out stalls for somebody by the name of Muhammad. That's what you would have been doing. But God, in his infinite mercy, took a bad situation and offered us and now we're turning against God the one who was saving us who offered his son for us so please don't ever ask say, tell me nothing about Africa like I said I'm not coming at you from a political point of uh, standpoint but from a child of the king standpoint that's who I am I'm a child of the king and I'm proud of it too
and I am not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God unto salvation I am not ashamed to stand anywhere and tell anybody that I am a child of God huh? let's read let's share the gospel because we are in bad shape look at Africa look at it look at Chicago that's worse than any war zone could ever be every week 40 to 50 people are, are shot and stabbed and at least almost 20 of them are killed and it's getting worse so before we go and, 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 and get, feel like I'm talking about somebody specifically and get insulted and send me, a, at least send me an email, at least do research. Like I said, Africa is in terrible shape. And my prayers are with them always because our ancestors did come from Africa. But we're American. Let's respect ourselves and stop murdering ourselves. Let's go to school and get educated. Let's learn of God and share God. That's what we can do. God bless you.